Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a product image using Pix for a Doodly promotional video. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Adding a custom product image or e-cover to your Doodly videos is a great way to give them an extra bit of polish and professionalism. Today, I'm going to show you how I made this custom shopping bag in Pix which is another doodly sibling that's super easy to use. So as you can see, I have this little shopping bag and it's got my logo on it and some cute little cats. And I thought this would be good for this little sales promo that I have. So if you go over to Pix, you'll see this is my shopping bag right here. This is what I created. And you'll notice I'm in 3D preview mode here. Isn't that cool? I love this part. And you can just put it however you'd like before you export it. So if you wanted it kind of front on like this, you would export it from this view. But if you wanted that little angle that I had in Doodly, you would just kind of move it slightly. And then you go to export and you follow the prompts to export the image. It's really neat. So how did I make this? I know it looks really technical, doesn't it? Since it's three dimensional. Well, it's not. Let's go over here. Let's create a new image. And you choose eCover. And you choose Create. And you'll see all of these different eCover types that you could use. I chose bags. This is the one I chose. But you could also choose binders, books, boxes, brochures, containers, discs and cases, gadgets, magazines, screens, and stationery. Well, we want to create what I made. We'll make a slightly different one. Let's use this bag as an example, or maybe this one. Let's use this one, why not? And you're gonna to wanna to choose create blank. There are also some templates that if you wanted to start with a template, you could easily do that. Like this one would be kind of cute. Let's just take a look. So you'll see there's an image. So that's your front. There's also a back image. And then the magical 3D preview. So here you go. You can just position it however you'd like. And let's say I wanted to use that. I could delete all these other little elements here. Maybe I like that. And I certainly don't need that text. So I can get rid of the text and I get rid of that text. And then I could add my logo. So let's go over here to logo, which is right here. And you just drag and drop your images into the little canvas, it's super easy. Now let's take a look at our preview. There we go, I like that a lot. And I just used a template. Now let's go ahead and use, make another one here, create e-cover, bag. This time we're gonna start from scratch, create blank. I'm gonna discard my other one. And now I have a transparent canvas here and I need my little cute cat's image, right? So where did I get it? Well, if you go over here to Image Library, you'll see that Pix comes integrated with Pixabay. This is all automatically here. You don't need to sign up for anything in Pixabay. It's just here. And I found these cute little cats. Here they are. And you just click on it to put it in there. I always want to drag it over, but you just click and then they appear. And then now you just size it however you'd like. I believe these are the sides here. So those are going to be the blank. Let's see. Hit 3D preview. Yeah. See how, see how it's blank there. So you're going to want to kind of fiddle with it. Yeah. Am I going to want blue here? Yes. I don't want that black. So if I go back to front, move it. 
Let's see how far I can get away with moving it. Do you remember? Yeah. So I think that will be pretty good. Go back to front. Maybe move it over a little bit more. I'm starting to get that black there, so I don't want that. So I need to move it back over. And I like that, and I kind of like this angle here. So I, that's what I'm going with. So I'm gonna go back to front. And remember we had our little cat logo. Well, I want that as well. So I'm gonna go back and again, I'm just gonna drag and drop my little cat logo in here. Here it is. Little luncher. Let's see how that looks. I need to move it over, see how it's getting cut off. And that's good. That's perfect. Now remember, I'm not doing, I'm not going to show this side, nor am I going to show the, the back of it or the bottom of the bag. So I'm only going to worry at this point about this image on the front. And I like that angle just fine. So that's what I'm going with. And I'm going to click export and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it cat bag. Let's call it three. I've made a few of these. So. Now Pix exports a pretty high resolution image for you, which is great for most purposes. Now doodly, however, 1920 by 1080 is as large as it's going to accept. So I need to go into my little file here. Find cat bag three and look, so it's dimensions are 2048 by 2048. And Doodly's gonna reject that, that's too large. So we need to resize it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it with preview. This is a Macintosh thing. Windows has its own little tools that you can use. And here it is, and I want to resize it. So if I go to file, tools, adjust size, I can change it to 1080 by 1080. And now that's gonna be the perfect size to import into Doodly. So I go back into Doodly and let's go ahead and delete this guy. We don't need it anymore. And we go to props, click the blue plus sign and browse for your file or drag and drop it. I'm just gonna drag and drop it cause I have it right here. And there it is. So now we just need to make it a little bit larger and let's go ahead and click the little pencil icon. I like to change it to fade, save and return. And I want this to be second thing to appear and maybe make it like a one second fade. And let's take a quick preview and we'll be done. As you can see, Pix is an easy to use tool that you can use to create your own custom product or e-cover images and use them in Doodly. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.